I place my keys into the door lock and turn it left, unlocking the door. She's next to me. I can smell her perfume, sweet and crisp. I open the door and hold it as she walks around me into the room. As she walks, her dress flows. I can see her hips dancing left and right, one foot in front of the other, the heels clicking on the marble floors inside the room. I walk inside and close the door behind us. We're met with the refreshing and uplifting smell of the essential oils that have been diffusing around the room all evening. I take a moment and breathe in. Oxygen flows, softening the muscles of my face, going through my throat, down through my chest, into my belly, almost as if it was reaching into my feet, and then back up into my chest, filling my heart, reinvigorating me, giving me energy in this moment. I open my eyes and look at her. Her dark brown eyes are beautiful. I say, baby, take off those goddamn heels. I got an extra pair of house shoes that you can put on right now. I'm going to pour you up a quick glass of spring water, and then I got to go into the back room, but I'll be right back. I walk over into the kitchen, looking at the kitchen, the marble white countertops garnished with plants, pineapples, watermelons, organic produce. I walk over to the refrigerator. Inside, I pull out the sparky spring water. I walk over to her and hand her the bottle. I say, go over to the couch and make yourself comfortable. If you're a little bit chilly right now, I have a throw on the couch. I'll be right back. As she walks across the room, I take in everything. There's a big wide open space in the living room. Soft light glows and dances about the room, casting in from the strip. I look at the couch as she sits on it. Through the big wide open windows, I can see the Aria, I can see the Cosmopolitan, I can see Bellagio. I'm so thankful and grateful to have this view. I've been dreaming of this for several years and I was able to materialize it in my real life that is called magic. Something that first begins inside the mind, something that is intimate and personal to only you, something that only you can see, think, feel, and believe in, but then you bring it into the real world where other people can experience it as well. I walk into the hallway, into the bedroom. I look at the big king-sized bed with the, with the blinds closed, silhouettes of the furniture around the room, very low light. I walk in through the closet. I take off my sports coat, silk, from Kanali. I hang it up and put it on the rack. I pull the HK45 out of my back pocket and put it inside the safe along with my Cuban link chain, rings, and my watch. I lock up the safe, take off my shoes, and put on an extra pair of house shoes. I leave the closet back through the bedroom and walk into the bathroom. Inside, I brush my teeth, I wash my hands, and I rinse my face just a quick freshen up before I go back outside with her. I walk out of the bathroom and back through the living room. I sit on the couch next to her. We're both looking out at this trip. The deep blue midnight sky. The lights of the strip glowing upward out into the sky, into the universe. Also into our room here inside the panorama tower on the 32nd floor. She says, I think I could fall in love with this view. I say, I understand. I meditate here every sunrise and sunset. She says, can we have something to drink? I say, what do you want? I have some tea. She said, do you have any wine or any liquor? I say, to be completely honest with you, everything feels better when we're sober. But we can drink a little bit of wine tonight. So I go to the refrigerator and I grab us an organic white wine from Whole Foods. I pour it into two small white wine glasses. Not too much because I don't want us to get intoxicated. I walk back. I handle the wine. I say, why don't you go into the bathroom and make yourself comfortable? And I'm going to go into the bedroom. She gets up. She walks to the bathroom. As I sit her on my couch, I feel completely relaxed. With every inhalation and exhalation, I become more relaxed. As I inhale, I can feel the oxygen come in through my face, relaxing the muscles in my face through my throat, down through my chest, into my belly, and then back up, invigorating me with energy and uplifting me.
As I exhale, I open my eyes. I take in the view. There's soft light casting from the Las Vegas strip ahead of me. It dances around the room because all the countertops are made of marble and all the floors are made of marble. I look through the window of my living room. I can see the Aria, the Cosmopolitan, and the Bellagio hotels. In this moment, I feel completely peaceful and thankful for everything that I have. I have been dreaming about this since at least 2015, and I actually materialized this into existence. It's magic, because something that once existed in my mind as I was driving on the interstate passing the panorama towers that no one else could see, feel, or believe in was only true to me. But a time later, I was able to manifest and bring it into existence in the material world. I breathe in and out, relaxed and peaceful. And then I stand up and pick up my glass of white wine from the countertop. I walk across the living room, the wide open space, the kitchen with the white marble countertops, garnished with plants, herbs, and organic produce. I close my eyes and breathe in the smell of the essential oils that have been diffusing about the room all evening. I walk through the hallway to the bedroom. I open the door. There's a very soft, warm orange light that cast all about the room I look at her I can see all of her skin she's undressed the candlelight glows and glistens off of her skin that's moisturized in organic essential oils she walks over to me as I step in I close the door behind me I watch her hips gracefully sway left and right, one foot in front of the other as she walks like a dancer. She's so beautiful, toned from her calf all the way up through her thighs, the muscles around her hips, her abdomen flat. She has shark fin muscles right around where her ribs are. She's completely beautiful, hair dancing and flowing as she walks towards me. When she's right in front of me, looking at me straight with big, bright, wide open eyes, I'm looking at her deeply. She says, thank you. I say, for what? She says, for being so present in this moment. I say, what do you mean? She says, I've never been with somebody who's been so honest and true. I say, I understand what you're saying. She looks at me and winces for a second, bites her lip. I say, what? She says, I don't want to say it. I say, it's okay. I put my hands around her back and rest them right on the small of her back. She puts her arms up above my shoulders around my neck, looking at me deeply in my eyes. I breathe in and out, feeling completely relaxed, totally present in this moment. With every inhalation and exhalation, I become more relaxed, feeling heavy, feeling my muscles relax, feeling peaceful. Looking at her deep in the eyes, she tells me about how happy she is in this moment. She tells me about her dreams and her aspirations and what she wants for the future. She tells me about the disappointment and the frustration that she's had with men in the past. Her past partners who couldn't meet her fully and be present in the moment with her. How we are right now. Nothing matters. I know death and she knows death. So we know that tomorrow is not promised. We know that this next moment is honestly not promised not trying to sound overly dramatic, but we want to give all of ourselves to every single moment that we're here. So as we're looking at each other in their eyes, we're taking in every bit of energy that, energy that we possibly can, soaking in everything in this moment that we possibly can. I'm not just looking at her body, admiring her fine shape, which it is fine, she's absolutely beautiful, but I'm looking through her eyes into her soul, I can feel what's happening inside of her. I can feel who she is. As she tells me things about her past and her what she wants for the future, I'm reading the facial expressions. I see the muscles, how when she says certain things, her muscles relax and brighten and widen. But when she says other things, they flatten and constrict. I understand where she's holding back and where she's being true. 
So I'm able to understand who's in front of me. So because of that, I'm able to understand how to give her exactly what she needs so she can open in this moment and be present and not be so afraid and not be so nervous about opening up to someone who won't see her light for what it actually is. Because a beautiful woman like this, really what she wants is for her light to shine and for herself to be seen completely beyond just the physical surface of who she is, but deeply inside of herself for everything that she can contribute to this world, all of the light and the healing and the inspiration that she can bring through her energy and through the essence of who she's developed herself to be. So she reaches up and gives me a kiss and starts to unbutton my shirt from top to bottom. From my neck all the way down, from my chest down to the bottom where the belt buckle is. She opens my shirt, pulling it over my shoulders, down my back, and takes it off, throwing it across the room. She's excited and exuberated. I'm smiling, I'm happy, I'm calm. She puts her hands on my belt buckle, unbuttons it, and then unfastens it from around my waist and throws it across the room with the shirt. She looks up at me. I look down at her. I slide my hands down both sides of her thighs and pick her up. We walk around to the bedroom, to the bed. I lay her down on the bed, gently. I climb up, place my knees on both sides of her, looking deeply in her eyes. I lower myself down, feeling my chest to her chest, feeling my belly to her belly, feeling our legs touching, intertwined. Our bodies press firmly against one another's. I feel the weight of myself crushing her into the bed, into the Egyptian cotton sheets, Versace. Every inhalation and exhalation, I relax more, becoming heavier, more present inside this moment, not thinking of anything happening outside of ourselves. I pull up my hand and I run it through her hair. I pull gently and I feel her face wince. She looks at me deeply in the eyes. I say, I know we don't know each other, but it's almost like we know each other. She says, right. The chemistry between us is undeniable. My loving is extremely hard. I feel the sensation of blood flowing all the way down into my pelvic floor, filling myself up, making me erect and fully strong. I breathe in and breathe out, looking into her eyes and give her a kiss, feeling the electricity flow between us. I look at her deep in the eyes, squeeze on her hair just a little bit, and press myself towards her lips in between her thighs. When I meet them, I see her eyes constrict just a little bit. She hasn't been loved recently. I press in a little bit beyond that and open her. I'm just inside and I feel the first bit of wetness. I breathe in and I breathe out. I see her breathe in and breathe out and relax just a little bit. I press in just a little bit more. I see herself tense and then relax. I breathe in, pulling out. I breathe out, pushing in. I do this over and over like ocean waves, just crashing onto the beach and then rolling out and crashing onto the beach. I'm pressing in, I'm pulling out, I'm pressing in, I'm pulling out. I'm halfway in now. I can feel her wetness. Their constrictions are starting to happen less. She's relaxing and opening up. I press in just a little bit deeper and she winces. It's been a minute since she's been open this deeply. I breathe in. I breathe out just in this moment. I don't want to violate exactly how she feels. I understand exactly how she feels. I look at her deeply in the eyes. I tell her how beautiful she is. I slide in just a little bit more and then I pull out. I slide in just a little bit more. I'm deeper now and she's not wincing. She's starting to pull on my arms, her hands around the back of my triceps, sliding up to my shoulders around towards my back. She's digging her nails in towards where my shoulder blades meet. I pull all the way inside, almost towards the cervix, and then I pull out, and then I feel her breathe in deeply, and then she exhales, and then I look at her deeply in the eyes. I wanna make sure that she's ready for what's about to happen. I slide back in, filling all of herself up, I'm pressing deeply into where her cervix is. She breathes in. I look at her in the eyes. Her eyes slightly roll back. I pull out just a little bit and push back in. I pull out just a little bit and push back in. I'm hitting the cervix now. 
I'm hitting the cervix. I'm hitting it over and over. She feels it. She says to me, it kind of hurts. Stop. I pull all the way out halfway. And I look at her. I breathe in. I breathe out. Looking at her eyes. I breathe in. I breathe out. Getting her into the cadence of my breathing. Getting her out of the constriction and the restriction that she has in her own breath. Looking at her in the eyes when I see that she's finally relaxed. I say, all you got to do is trust me and relax. I'm going to guide us to where we need to go. Looking at her now, I take my right arm and hook it underneath her leg. I put her thigh on top of my shoulder. Looking at her, I can see that she's slightly constricted. I press in, pulling her hips towards me with my my hand around her right thigh. I'm all the way in now. I pull out, I press in. I pull out, I press in. Harder and harder with every moment. I press in. I shift my hips left and hit the right wall. I push hard. I'm hitting it hard. Everything I have, the more I come inside of her, the deeper I get. The more I hit the walls, the more wetness I feel around me. The more my thrusting becomes stronger, the more my loving becomes stronger. I can feel her wetness growing. In my ears, I hear the sound, almost like waves crashing. I hear the wetness just splashing a little bit around inside, not coming out yet, not leaking yet. I'm hitting. I switch to the right, and I start loving the left wall, thrusting in and out, hitting it, loving it, feeling it, pressing in deeper and deeper, hitting it with all of myself. I pull up. I put her uh, leg down back around my waist, and I'm laying on top of her now. And I'm thrusting inside and out vigorously with all of myself. I feel heat actually circulating inside my body, up and down with every thrust. I feel the heat and the energy coming inside myself, circulating back in as I drive in and out, drive in and out. And then I actually hear the sounds splashing as her wetness comes outside. And I can feel it dripping around where my pelvic floor is, down my thighs. I'm pushing in and out. I'm pressing in and out. As I'm thrusting in and out vigorously, I keep thrusting harder and harder. I feel the energy between us circulating, the heat energy. As I'm going in and out like the rhythmic waves of the ocean, crashing against the floor and then pulling back. I'm pushing in, I'm pulling out. I'm getting deeper and deeper with every stroke. I push all the way in and I feel her surface and I pull all the way out until I feel the lips around the tip and then I push back in and out and then I go all the way in until I feel the back and then I push and I push and I feel that she almost feels a little bit of pain and then I pull out and then I push back in and out and in again and again and again and she says she feels so full she's never felt so full like this before she looks at me in the eyes I keep thrusting in and out I keep thrusting in and out And then I go all the way in, all the way to the back, and I press with all of my might, all of my hardness, fully in this moment. I'm pressing hard, thrusting, hitting the back of the wall, turning to the right, hitting the right wall, turning to the left, hitting the left wall. And then I pull up her leg, put it back on my shoulder once again. I pick up her hips and pull them all the way towards mine. Now her hips are underneath me. I'm driving down, jabbing all the way in as deep as I could possibly get. I'm hitting as deep as I can. She looks up at me and I can see the pain in her eyes. She says, she squeezes on my my leg. She squeezes on my wrist. She says it hurts. I look at her in the eyes. I'm trying to see if it's real. She says it hurts. I slow down for a second, but I know in this moment what she needs is vigorous loving because she's never been open so deeply. I know that she has so much disappointment, frustration, and letdown from the men in her past that what she needs is just persistent, consistent loving so that she can open and trust the person in front of her. So I keep going. I tell her, bitch, shut up. I'm going to keep pressing. I keep going in. I thrust and I thrust. She says, if you're going to keep going, then I'm going to scratch you. So she digs her nails right into the back of my abdomen, right around the small of my back. I feel her nails penetrate my skin and then pull slightly. It scratches. It burns a little bit with the sensation as she burns into me scratching me i thrust harder and harder i take my right hand gripping all the way underneath her thigh i feel my fingers pull into her flesh i'm pressing as hard as i can and now i start fucking her harder i'm fucking harder and harder thrusting harder and harder 
and she's scratching she's scratching my chest she's scratching down my ribs she's scratching around the back of my neck where my shoulder blades meet and i keep thrusting harder and harder until the point where she actually relaxes and lets go and she can't scratch anymore i keep going and going with all of my might i feel my abdomen clench and flex i thrust forward i thrust forward there's sweat dripping down my forehead through my nose down to my cheeks there's sweat dripping onto her i feel the sweat on my chest and my back i'm thrusting and thrusting i lay her leg down finally whenever she stops quenching and i know that she's actually relaxed and open now and i and i breathe in and out i'm exhausted i'm depleted myself i'm thrusting and then until i can't thrust anymore she's coming i can feel the squirting sensation every time she comes as i'm thrusting in and out it splashes just a little bit around where our pelvic floors meet it splashes and splashes i can feel where her g-spot is i pull out and then i pull my hands inside i take two fingers and i do i come here motion like a fish hook up on top of her walls i do this over and over over and over lovering her visit vigorously with my fingertips I, s I feel her head roll back her neck crunches and she moans and winces gracefully she moans and winces aesthetically her hands move up towards her face grabbing her own hair pulling and then she clenches her belly pulls up her thighs squeezes them in together i say baby relax i press her thighs down as hard as i can into the bed flattening out her legs and i keep with the come here motion in between her legs inside of her vagina on the top wall eventually as i do this over and over like the ocean she starts to come she starts to squirt liquid starts to flow out of herself like a well and as she squirts and squirts she screams and moans at first it sounds painful and at the end it sounds relaxing and pleasant i lay back on top of her i'm back inside of her i slide in gently we're laying on top of each other i feel my weight pressing into her i'm exhausted she wraps her arms around me and squeezes she looks at me in the eyes and she says it's okay if we can't keep going we can just lay here and cuddle i just want to feel yourself on top of me i love the presence that you bring in this moment i love the love that you bring to me in this moment i love everything that you bring to me in this moment and as she says all this to me it makes me feel more adequate and accepted as a man and then i feel an energy start to surge back through me as i look through her bright wide open eyes and i'm laying on top of her and i feel my heart beating and speeding up and i feel her heart beating pressing against one another and then i feel myself becoming erect as the heat energy goes back towards my pelvic floor and fills myself up and now i'm in her i'm sliding back in again and again in and out pushing and pulling harder and harder pull, pushing all of myself into her opening her more and more i'm laying on top of her missionary style giving it to her over and over in this moment i feel myself completely let go there's nothing that exists in this moment i'm completely present inside of her like the ocean waves crashing in and out like i'm meditating i'm hitting it over and over angles left and right i'm completely lost inside this moment I feel her look at me in the eyes. I open my eyes and look at her. She says, I, I say, and then she winces her lips and bites. I look at her, I say, what? She says, I, well, you know, I, I say, say what you need to say. I say, she says, well, I don't want to say it because we just met and everything's not real right now. And I say, do you want to feel love in this moment? Do you want to feel the deepest bliss that you can possibly feel in this moment? And she says, yes. And I say, say tell me you love me bitch and she says i love you i say i love you i say say it again bitch she says i love you i love you as i'm thrusting in and out in and out like the ocean she's saying i love you louder and louder because she's never been able to express herself and give her love this deeply before so it's healing and therapeutic to her as i'm pressing in and out all the way in filling her lips all the way down filling her cervix in and out as i'm pressing over and over and she comes again and again and again and I'm looking at her deep in the eyes and say, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I want to come inside you, even though I don't know you. So I stop where I'm at. I feel the surge of energy pressing through me. I pull. I relax. I try to breathe it in and out. 
I feel an orgasm coming up through my spine, up into my head, releasing all kinds of chemicals and elation and dopamine inside my brain. I feel it shoot off like fireworks and then fall back through myself into my body, giving me energy, making me feel ecstatic. In this moment, I exhale and relax completely. I feel every single muscle inside my body relax. I'm laying inside of her. I press all of my weight on her, crushing her. And I just exhale as if I was dead in this moment. We lay here for a minute. I'm still inside of her. As we lay here, there's a few times where she constricts, squeezes me, and then unconstricts, relaxing, inhaling, and exhaling until we finally come to a place where we're both in a state of breath that's consistent, peaceful. And we're just breathing in and we're breathing out. And we're breathing in and we're breathing out. And our body stabilizes and I look at her. And she looks at me. I give her a kiss. I slide out of her. As when I finally get all the way out of her, she goes, ah. And then we both get up. We get out of the bed. I put the the Givenchy robe back on her. I put on my house shoes and my robe from Gucci. We walk out towards the living room, back onto the balcony. It's five in the morning now. We made love all night. We fucked all night. The sun is just peeking over the East Mountains in Las Vegas. The orange glow cast over the city, dancing off the back of the strip buildings and just barely casting through our room. In this moment, I feel completely present and grateful. Thankful that we're here. Thankful that I met her. Thankful that we had this moment. I place my arms around her and pull her back into my chest. She relaxes and exhales and sighs a little bit. In this moment, we feel both very complete and peaceful. Yes, indeed. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. This was Cameron Devon Crew. You just witnessed a nice flow. This one was called Deeper Than Pleasure. What we're talking about tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is how when you have sex, you can actually be with your woman, feel what she needs, penetrate her, open her up so that she can get through all the tension and all of the constriction that she has from the frustration, the abuse, and the disappointment of her past. You can open your woman up a little bit more so that light can flow through her and love can flow through her and all the good energy can flow through her that you really want. Yes, indeed. Shout out all the bad bitches. Shout out all the goddesses. Shout out all the women who are cooperative, feminine, fit, and beautiful. Yes, indeed. Shout out all the women that Cameron Devon crew has had the pleasure of meeting and all the women to come. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Y'all worried about y'all finances, y'all's credit, and all that type of shit. But you know what I mean? The most important thing in your life is your relationships. Figure out how to make your relationships healthy, beautiful, and abundant. Figure out how to make yourself glow and blossom in relationship. Yes, indeed, everybody. Whatever you do, whenever you make love, make sure you make deep love. Make sure you have love that is deeper than just the pleasure. Have rich sex. You know, don't settle for a shallow orgasm. Don't settle for, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just that regular shit that you get on the regular degular. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. This is Cameron Devine, Crew Organic Growth Nation. Follow Elliot Lucas. Y'all stay up. I'm a holler. Anything to redouble this shit. Alright, bro, one more time, one more time, one more time. Thanks, seriously.